Hi, Wolfie here. Uh, back to doing the videos. Uh, bows, arrows, kit equipment kind of thing for 2016. Been a pretty appalling winter and uh, I barely felt like doing any videos in the workshop. So I've got a few bits and pieces that um, I've been standing waiting for either sort of a bit more continuous testing or um, a bit more of a show off. And one thing that uh, I've had for a bit is a version of the Mohawk from Bodling Bows, Germany. Now, I've already got the Mohawk recurve and I've continued to use that in competitions where required when I need a recurve. Nice shooting bow, very consistent, um, lovely behavior, no noises, etc. But this uh, hybrid was a bit of a development departure for Bodnik Bows and they've had a few ups and downs in the development and they weren't really were really willing to le release it, whatever the word straight, until it was tried, tested and sorted. The riser was simple, it was to be the same as the uh, Mohawk model itself, so the limbs in, in essence were going to be interchangeable. They originally had the fade out or taper on the limb the other way and um, that uh, in essence didn't work for them and they had some tillering issues with the limbs, the tips and the construction. Uh, the first bow I had to try was uh, let's say inconsistency in his tiller. Uh, one minute it was right, next minute it was quite a bit off and there's a bigger gap on the top and the bottom and there's been masses of research and development, testing to destruction and various things out in Germany to get the bow right for the customer. And this year they released it. And I was still sort of getting to, to grips with this one and to bed with it because I've got quite a few things going on at the moment. But I now feel having tested it and um, given a good consideration that I could do this video. Same riser, similar construction, as a Mohawk hybrid limbs with a slight forward reflex bamboo core. This one has a straightforward bamboo finish on it, which to be honest, I like. I know they're now doing the Mohawk Chief with all sorts of fancy bits and pieces on it, but I don't see any harm in the standard Mohawk hybrid. Again, my usual whip a bit off the shelf thing, but um, it's a nice bow. I personally don't see a massive difference at all, in essence, as people might be looking for between this and the Mohawk recurve itself. I think this purely comes down to personal preference. It looks a little bit different, it looks quite interesting. The performance, I don't think there's a lot in it. I don't, I'm still using the same arrows between the two. Not noticing any sort of particular difference in that regard. So. It's an aesthetic choice, a visual choice. Um, you know, you may think you might lose some of the potential twi twitchiness out of a, of a recurve, but again, with you know a bow like this, you will get a little bit of sort of flexibility in the tips. So I think there's a balance there. Purely think it's down to choice, but again, this is another really nice bow. Research, development, and uh, has been you know endless and testing. I know, you know, quite a few people have had these bows to test and have had, you know, the early issues and they've all been sorted out. So, yeah, this is the Mohawk Hybrid. I know there's a few videos out there already on it, but I wasn't rushing it. I'm not prepared to sort of tell people one thing and then have to correct myself. Again with that reflex. And again, it's a nice shape. And the draw comes back quite nicely. No stacking, no messing. Um, for me, I can just keep drawing it, no problem. Uh, this one, as per usual, although well, I just did one which was slightly higher, 52, but this is a 50 pound bow at 28 inches. So what I'm gonna do is continue what I kind of started on another video. And I've got a new bit of wood, which I've set some targets out do a little kind of tour so I can do some shooting at the same time. Anyway, see you in a minute. All right, I'm crouching bobcat with a fish, I think. Let's actually stop and look at what that thing is in his mouth.
Nice. And then the kill. Alright, it's so another one of them shots I really like. All the obstructions possible. Trees here, trees there. Yeah. Sal, you might recognise that. Sal Renzuli, friend of mine. We call it Sal's pig. Let's see what we can do. In the little black hole. Beautiful. Spot a hole, hit the hole. Right, I don't know if you can see him, but there is a boar. In the dark and shade. Nice challenging shot. Got to imagine where the kill is because you can't see it right here, particularly in the sun in your eyes. Two for two. Where is he? There he is, in the marked out kill. I'm sure real kill area is slightly further forward than that, but that's where they mark the targets. Right, Wolverine target. Another one through tricky terrain. Always nice to have a challenge. Nice sweet shot. Straight in the kill area. Can't say the bow's not behaving nicely. Right, raccoon hidden between a fork tree. Lots of uh, visual challenges here. Always good. Ready to go. Let's have a look. Ta da! Nice one. Okay, I'll fetch out in a minute, but um, Mohawk hybrid. Matter of choice. Hybrid or recurve, that's up to you. Um, it's nice to have both. Or it'd be nice to have the riser and order the uh, other set of limbs. But, um, yeah as uh, happy or sort of casually impressed with this bow as I have with pretty much all the other Bodnik range. Um, nice bows, well made, and this is a, an affordable bow, a performing bow at the right price. So, yep, Mohawk hybrid. You can see that, yep, 50 pound at 28 inches. Thanks for watching. <laughs>